welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube. If you're watching this video later on for a new deck, this is a brand new donation deck that we're going to try out here. This is Grixis Crisis. So we're playing a Grixis midrange deck with uh, full of Thieves Sanity, Hostage Taker, Rekindling Phoenix. These are some popular cards you see in a Grixis midrange deck. But the Grixis midrange deck can maybe struggle with going over the top of opponents. And do you know a card goes over the top better than anything else? That's it, Hydroid Crisis. And so we have just a few green sources in here that we get to try to find and then slam Hydroid Crisis in the late game uh, to take over. So this will be pretty interesting to see how uh, this works out, if this does work out, if the mana works and, and everything like that. Um, you know, trying something something different. So, all right. So we got um, you know the power of cards like Thought Erasure, Discovery, Thief of Sanity, Hostage Shaker, Nicol Bolas, Rekindling Phoenix. Like these are all very strong cards in the early and mid game. And then we'll have Crisis finishing up the end game. So, ready to try it out, Hawkeye? All right. Let's let's give this a try with Grixis Crisis. Are there any viable five color decks? Not really. No, you don't really see any five color decks out right now. <laughs> if we were a little more aggressive, we'd splash white for Benelish Marshall. <laughs> but we're not not aggressive enough for that. See, perfect mana. Perfect mana, first game. It's Wizard's fault for not making an extended art Dragon Skull Summit, like they made the extended arts for all the other lands. All right, starting Watery Grave. Look at our opponent's lands. They're so basic. Nothing like our lands. Also basic. Um. Yeah, or Hinterland Harbor. We don't have the Hinterland Harbors in this deck, but just Summit and, and Harbor. That's rude. All right, so do we go? Yeah, let's let's go with the Hostage Taker taking this Chupacabra. Hoping we get to untap with Hostage Taker. Dang. Bonus killing us with the two for ones. Right about now. See, this would be a perfect time for a crisis. Perfect time for a crisis, Hawkeye. That thing's gonna kill us. Ooh, that's a good card. But still, this ill gotten inheritance. Is this target player? Target opponent. 
Okay. So they can't sacrifice this when we have if we have Shalai in play. But if I go get Shalai, then our opponent can just sacrifice it in response, and then they have double Chupacabra. Why can't this thing cost five mana? Yeah, I guess they, they could have just attacked with both and then sacked in Inheritance. Um... So I think my out is... Them not sacrificing Inheritance here. I reborn Shalai, go to four, they attack with both, I'm at two. I mean, if, if they respond to this by sacking Inheritance, I'm dead, but maybe they won't. There are none greater than I. Okay, they did not. Okay. Now all we have to do is kill both their Chupacabras and then dispersal the inheritance. And we can do that next turn. So we're actually pretty good here. Yeah, our opponent could have killed us. Well, now we can just get to Krasis for six. Game three is Krasis. Yeah, now we got this. Yeah, Krasis was the perfect draw. Good thing Grixis has Krasis. Next turn, we're going to get rid of... We're just going to get rid of these Chupacabras. No, 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 not you. Isn't death amusing? So that we, so that dispersal, the following turn will kill the inheritance, and then we'll have a crisis later on. But we don't really need that crisis anymore. Oh, I guess I can still, yeah. I can, so we dispersal now, and then get rid of that thing. Aha! Yeah, opponent had lethal. Didn't do it. They did give us the good game, though. Hmm. So we want takers. And... <laughs> yeah, you got to get some undies for that win. Get some of those me undies there. I don't know what else I really want besides Hostage Taker. I don't think I really want Thief of Sanity. It's kind of weird, though. Thief of Sanity is a very good card. Doesn't really seem like a Thief of Sandy matchup, though. I'm going to play a Disdainful Stroke also. See, you know, Chupacabra, Chupacabra, Shalai, Ill-Gotten Inheritance. 
Yeah, I saw so many cards that Disdainful Stroke's good against. No green mana, but lots of other mana. I like mana. Mana's good. We're gonna need mana to cast all these spells we're gonna draw. I honestly don't, I just know it's a 2-3 defender. I honestly don't know what the rest of the text is of this card. If it's enchanted or equipped, it can attack. Okay. Huh. Yeah, keeping the 6 land hand. Our curve's pretty high, like... Having cards like Hostage Taker, uh, you really want a lot of lands with Hostage Taker. Nicol Bolas, you want a lot of lands with. The thing is, like, if we mulligan down to six, we could have, like, not very many lands. Basically, this game is not going to be an auto loss kind of thing. I wanted to reduce the chance of having an auto loss. Ew. Can't cast spells from graveyards or activate ability. See, like, like our opponent's already Never like mold to five. Like these cards don't matter. You will. No fire. No See, if we didn't have all these lands, we wouldn't have been able to just play the Angrath we drew. Basically, worst case scenario is not hitting land drops. We hit land drops. So not it's at least not worst case scenario. You best start thinking fast. You're on your own. And we're just going to keep drawing Mythics, because we already have all the lands. So now we just draw a bunch of spells. This is a cage. Like, that's Angrath in the cage, too. It's, like, perfect. Yeah. It's, like, Angrath's cage. I'm glad we drew this Bedevil. Wait, does this thing actually do anything? Okay, good. Just making sure that card didn't actually do anything. Well, I didn't actually make sure before I Bedeviled my, my creature. I checked after I bedeviled, but still. Okay. Phoenix gonna take it down. And Grixis Krasis is 1 0. After stealing that game one. Oh, opponents trying their best. They got, you know, they're using the cards they got. Yeah, that. Yeah, that that enchantment should not be in their deck. That is just it is just blank text. It's just one mana, one white mana enchantment. You know, so if you're the opponent watching this later, take that card out of your deck. It's just one white mana enchantment. That's it. Doesn't say anything else.
perfect mana. We got Thief into Rekindling Phoenix. Is it a Gilgate? It's a it's a kind of a weak gate, but I guess that's a gate. Go, thief, go. Now this is a gate. Now that's a gate. Should I just say, what if this card was just called Gruel Door? <laughs> just a door. It's a door, a bull. Well, we don't have any basic lands or gates in our deck, so that doesn't do anything. Uh, we can't take land, so I guess we're taking this one. At first, I was like, I was going to take the Circuitous route. I was like, ooh, I can get two lands, put them into play. Then I was like, wait a minute. We don't have any basic lands or gates. Oh man, if our opponent plays Blood Moon here, they'd get us so good. We'd only be able to play our Phoenix and Lava Coil and everything. Dude, look at those trees. Look at those tree look at those trees, son. Attack. Alright, so which one of these cards can I not beat? I'm kinda of thinking I'm thinking of taking expansion explosion. Or no, maybe Gates of Blaze. Yeah, I guess probably a Blaze. I mean summit we we're gonna kill them before the summit matters, right? Yeah, let's take the Ablaze. Or at least try to kill them before some of it matters. So basically, if they have a blaze plus expansion and get to copy a blaze, that's a, a huge problem. They play, you know, one of these creatures, we take it. They take, you know, we, we take Ram, we coil Krasis. Explosion's not killing the Phoenix. So, you know, the Phoenix is our most important card here. I paid two life so we could play the the thought erasure because we didn't have another blue source because the auto tap tapped my one blue source for the guild summit. All right, do I give them another guild summit? Probably not. Am I even supposed to be keeping this crisis here? a new course, as Angrath always says.
Well, it was always the same course for us. New course for the Ram. We're giving the Ram a new course. Hey, what's up, Nikki B? We have been all week, um, all donations for donation decks and everything. Oh, uh, this week I am putting. We've been putting. Uh, we've been buying the gem packs and and getting these 3D cards, all these full art cards. So, yeah, right now you know we're we're right there towards another gem pack. And yeah, gonna be doing it all the way till through Sunday. So. You know, today's only Wednesday, but all the way through Sunday. Um, going eight days of all donations going into Arena. Trying to get as many of the 3D cards as we can. So what do we want to do against Gates? This is a difficult deck to sideboard against for Grixis. This is usually a, a kind of a difficult matchup for Grixis. I think, like, Duress Negate, right? Like, that's that's usually... Stuff to play. And we cut coil and craving. Hostage shaker was really good there. Do we want more hostage shakers? And Thief of Sandy isn't very good in this matchup, right? Like, they just don't have things for us to really hit with Thief. There's more green sources. They keep going down. We don't have many green sources, though. This isn't really the best matchup for Krasis, anyway. They just outclass Krasis. Maybe that maybe Krasis is the card I'm supposed to be boarding out. I'll take out one Krasis here. We'll just keep it with the two thief, the two hostage takers. But I could see taking out the other crises for more hostage takers. Yeah, these these three D cards are pretty expensive. There is um, there's the article about all of it about them. But they look amazing. All right, no Shockland yet. We're gonna draw Shockland. We got thirteen of them. Tilt. been really nice to have Thought Erasure on two before they play Guild Summit. Hopefully no Guild Summit. Good. No Guild Summit. Let's take this Guild Summit. Where's it at? Where's it at? Ooh. They don't have one. I'm thinking about taking Circuitous route here. They're still not playing anything this turn either. Wow. They really messed up by not playing the Gateway Plaza last turn. Both have really slow hands, though.
Yeah. I think it's just Thief, because, like, Thought Erasure is going to be just as good next turn, whether it's this turn or next turn, you know, like, we're still going to have, like, a Ram or Colossus or whatever we want to take, which I think we want to take a Ram, but the thing is, Angrath does get to kill Ram, which is good. We're probably going to be just maybe using these as, like, dispersals, trying to slow our opponent down. Um, all right, let's look for more lands. Those are more lands. I will take them. And let's get rid of a Colossus. So they could cast their cutest route this turn. And put the the gate colossus back on top of their library. But then if they put if they put gate colossus back on top, you know, we just get rid of it with the Why can't you be better? I think I want a bolus. Pretty sure. No, Angrath? Pick up. They attack Angrath. So I'm still at 12. I'm not going to have time to cast this dispersal. So, like, we can... Angrath Minus can get rid of one... Oh, gosh. That's bad. Because they can get rid of a ram. And I think we're dead now. I don't think we have a, an out. I guess I needed to take... I mean, if I... Maybe if I take Circuitous Route... The thing is, if I take Circuitous Route, they just play the other Gate Colossus... Maybe I was just supposed to take Gate Colossus, Gate Colossus the first two times and just let them have Circuitous Route. That was, that was maybe my best thing I could do. Thief is tough. Am I supposed to just not play Thief of Sanity? So weird, though. I'm certainly not cutting Bedevil. It's like our, we can actually kill a ram with that. We're not taking hard removal out. It's just like if I want 
So basically, the question is, do I want Disdainful Stroke, Find Finality, and Hydroid Crisis, like those cards over Thief of Sanity? I don't think so. I think Thief on the play. I'm going to try to try to steal some games. And yeah, I think Crisis is too slow. I'm not, not really playing more. Trimming down on Crisis. Getting more Hostage Takers. I think I like Hostage Taker here. Oh, I didn't make this deck, Mass. I didn't, I didn't make this deck. But in general, the deck already has a lot of 4-mana cards. And so... Bedevil does fit fit the curve a lot better than Contempt does. Just in general, though, with with Contempt or Bedevil, like having three mana is is a is a pretty nice plus for Bedevil because we have Rekindling Phoenixes and Hostage Takers and Nickel Bolas. There's already just a lot of four mana cards. I got two rams. Maybe I'm supposed to cast Discovery there and then negate Duress the next turn. Alright, what kills rams? You do not, you do not. You do. You're good. I'm gonna give them the least amount of turns to to draw into a removal spell here for the taker. You know, hoping they didn't draw a Gates of Blaze and they're just gonna play another ram and then I get to play this ram. And maybe draw a land. I know I ditched those other lands at the time, but maybe draw a land where we can go ram plus ne and have negate available for the following turn. Good. Am I going to shock in for negate? Yeah, I think so. And we have Contempt for the other Ram. Now if they have another Route or Guild Summit or anything like that, we got that covered with negate. Hey Julian, sorry I just saw your message. Welcome to the channel. Hope everything's going good in Argentina. So I certainly need to Contempt, but then the problem with Contempting is I don't get to have Negate as well. I'm getting greedy. Do we think that they have negate? Is that like a thing? Like I'm considering playing the rekindling phoenix. No. The big problem is if they have negate.
I guess I just gave them another draw step. Perfect. That'll do. So now, please, no guild summit, no guild summit, no guild summit. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. So we got, we got two rams. We've taken out two rams so far. I hope they just have like gates of blazes and lands. I don't know. Some, you know, just not, not something that kills us. Yeah, next turn I'm probably gonna go. Yeah, that's fine. That doesn't kill us. Probably gonna go bolus with negate backup, so that we can potentially flip bolus next turn. I should have attacked first. I meant to attack first. Oh, I already have a hostage taker in the graveyard. Right. I forgot about my hostage taker in the graveyard. All right. No need to attack. But I wanted a hostage taker in the graveyard for Bolas, but I already have one in there. Oh, well. Those things aren't really doing a whole lot anyway. Hey, what's up, Scott? We have green man in the deck. We haven't drawn any. Um, did we even surveil any green mana over? No. Just play a huge expansion explosion. Let me negate it. Just play it right now. That was not good. So we can hostage take one crisis. And we're basically dead to the other. And then our bolus is d dead. I could just play rekindling phoenix and pass. Gosh. That crisis was r real bad for us. Really needed something for us to negate. Or I wish I wish I would have just played Phoenix the last turn then. That's how that turn was going to go. Phoenix would have been a lot better the previous turn to block this 4-4. Four four. Oh yeah, down to one. Ugh. Yep. Oh, that thing stays alive? I just kind of assumed they had six gates over here. They didn't? I didn't count it. But...
And that other crisis was a killer. Yeah, that's a tough match. That's certainly just a, like, all the Grixis decks I play all really struggle against Gates. I just have too many problematic cards. Too much of the removal is not good. They have too many very big creatures and, you know, they have tons of big creatures and card advantage. And it's just really difficult to, to win that matchup. Watery Grave. So they take Nicol Bolas. We have nothing. Could see them taking Bedevil, I guess, if they have, like, you know, Teferi that they really want to protect and they have removal for Bolas. They just want to take the Bedevil. I could certainly see that happening, too. And we drew the worst possible card in our deck, Lava Coil. Yeah, that was like the, with us having the one moment of craving, the four Lava Coils are like the only other just actual dead cards. I don't think I want to let my opponent know that I have the Phoenix. Perfect. Great timing on the Thought Erasure there. Get that Teferi out of their hand. And as long as they don't find another Teferi... Okay, well that's... close to another Teferi. <laughs> Three on top? What is... what is life? Just look at the top three and like, no, I can't find anything better than these. This is as good as it gets right here. Man, what a draw. <laughs> See, we left them with those those cards in hand and they just the top card was Perception. That they loved all three top cards. Jeez. Hard to beat three for ones. When we have two dead cards, <laughs> we're on a mulligan to five. Matchup, of course, will get easier for us after sideboard when we have access to all of our duresses, negates, other counter magic like that. Direfully Daredevil, awesome in this matchup. You know, Daredevil and Thought Erasures and Contempts and things like that. We have a very good sideboard for the matchup. Right now, opponent. I was going to say that they were probably flush and had some counters, but... There we go. Krasis. That was what I was going to be talking about as like a good card for us to draw. Let's go four and see... Okay. 
So I was thinking, I went with four instead of five here. Because we could have drawn it with the two cards, it could have been land thought erasure. Um, potentially. Hopefully they don't ca cast this Thought Erasure I just gave them. Hopefully they let this Angrath resolve. Dang. Just going to sideboarding. Don't need to sit around for another long while. Not sure about fine finality. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Yeah, fine's probably worth it. Hostage Shaker is kind of an odd one. I'm not sure if they're going to like have their own creatures after sideboarding that we're going to want to have Hostage Taker. I guess not. We still have... Whoops. Whoops. No, I want Phoenix and Bolas. We still have something like Angrath that can kill a Thief of Sanity. We still have Bedevil Contempt. Daredevil can be removal as well. What are the other four cards I'm cutting here, though? These are... These are all pretty good now. What are the other four? Like, what do y'all see that are cuts here? I could just board out Discovery. That's kind of weird. Cut Discovery. I really like Bolas. And I like Direfully Daredevil. And I think this is like the this is like the perfect matchup for Thief. The biggest thing I'm worried about now with taking out Discovery is not having is like basically our, our mana situation. And this hand is great if we draw lands. I think I'm leaning Mulligan, though. It's just so risky. Why can't we just have lands? We have 26 in the deck. We just have, like, three lands in a hand. So Woodland Cemetery does give us access to all of our mana, but it will come into play tapped here, so we're not going to have anything on turn two. They need to find a, a blue source this turn for, to be able to have the absorb up. If not, I'm taking the other Teferi and just getting two Teferis out of their hand. I 
I kept it on top. That's a bad sign for me. It's a bad sign. Alright, so we're just taking Absorb then. Basically. Deck, where are the lands? Where are the lands? Ridiculous. 26 land deck. Sure, I didn't. I'm not playing the discoveries, but. Doesn't mean that we can't just have three lands ever. Keep up. Sorry, I'm late. Man, I'm sorry, Pure Poker. I'm sorry about this. And Discovery sure would have looked better than find even Daredevil. Daredevil's man intensive. Yeah, this is the worst timeline. Our opponent only had two lands also, but they hit land, land, land. Hurry. Slammed the Teferi. Both had two lands. Obviously, they had Ascanta to help. But they were just keeping their cards on top. It, they were just all lands. There goes Bedevil. Yeah, we could try this again sometime later. Okay, what can we do with this? Let's go grab these. Yeah, I wouldn't mind playing this again. I could see... So with the four color deck... I'm not, I'm not sold on like the, these Thief of Sanities. Basically, I could see Thief of Sanity being a sideboard card and just trying to be a little more controlling. But, I mean, that's just how I kind of make my Grixis decks, though. And that, that's all I'm kind of talking about there. Basically, I'm getting really, really punished for taking out Discovery these two games. But, you know, we just saw, like, one-landers and one-landers and everything. I guess our first hand was a two-lander. But they're both, like, tap land and everything. Sometimes you just gotta hope with your 26 lands that you have more than two. Ugh. It's a real frustrating game. So nothing really to deal with to fairy. I could go Daredevil Thought Erasure. Then of course they're flipping as Kanta. Oh, I can't even cast Phoenix. So yeah, it's just Daredevil Thought Erasure. I can't even cast Phoenix, and so this will let me You know, hopefully surveil, try to find one of my four other answers to to fairy that we have in our deck. We have two more two contempts and two bedevils, I believe, left. I believe we have five total of those. Chromium double mortify. We'll just take this chromium. And 
And hopefully we draw a Bedevil or Contempt. Hold that thought. Okay, yeah. Pure Poker says play this again, make any changes you want. Just a crazy idea I had. Yeah, because I think that Krasis as a top end to a Grixis deck is certainly pretty interesting. It may be that we have to just go closer to blue, black, splashing red and green. Like where we don't have Rekindling Phoenix also. Because Phoenix makes it pretty tough on the mana. Because of course, being Grixis, we got to be a blue, black heavy deck when we're playing like Thought Erasure and everything. So we have to be blue, black heavy. So then trying to fit in the mana for Phoenix. Like enough red sources for Phoenix and then also green for Krasis is kind of tough. Yeah, we're, we're dead. The ult ultimate Teferi locks the game up. That wasn't really like color of mana. That was just an amount of mana though that, that happened there that game. You know, game one, we drew two coils in a moment of craving. Against against Esper, we really only have those those five dead cards. Cause even Hostage Taker isn't really the worst. We hostage Taker our own thing, or at least it's a two three. We only have like five dead cards against Esper and we drew three of the five. And, you know, that was just pretty unfortunate. And then you know, right after we thought erasured our opponent, their next draw was like their perfect draw of being that uh, that draw three, and they keeping all three on top, and then us drawing another dead card. So that the game one, you know, worked out pretty bad for us with that, and then obviously game two, we had two tap lands and rough mana, so mulligan, and then one land. I uh, kept it with the one land double thought erasure, and we found the first land with the scry, but never found another one. So there we go. That's Grixis Krasis. Well, some some bad variants there, but that happens. All right. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.